this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my life coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So today the quote of the day is, I can't tell you the key to success but the key to failure is trying to please everyone by Ed Sheeran. This quote is all about people pleasing and it is so precise. You can never fail more and make your life more miserable than when you are trying to please everyone so that everyone will like you. It is impossible to uh, be liked by everyone and the most challenging part of leave, living as a people pleaser is that you have this continuous battle going on inside your head of how you should have behaved and how you could have done or said things differently. It is this constant battle inside your, your mind. Now the typical behavior of people pleasers include a fear of being rejected by anyone in any way, being occupied about what other people think about you and, and how they feel about you, and you are so hungry for the approval of others almost all of the time. Also giving more than you get in relationships is a common people pleasing tendency while being neglectful of your own needs. This is very common. Also fear of saying no to people, not setting boundaries and being afraid of seeming like you're mean towards others is common amongst people pleasers. Now people pleasers feel rejected by other people even when other people may not be uh, rejecting them or may not be offended by them. Now we tend to have these people pleasing tendencies because getting along with other people was so important and it was essential for our survival as ancient humans. But now things have changed and there are many more people around us than were ever were for our ancestors. And this makes people pleasing something that is not only impossible, but it's actually not in our favor and it's not in the favor of our survival anymore. So, but some people have remained people pleasers, even if it doesn't serve them anymore. People pleasing is a sure, a sure way to fail at life and be unhappy. Now, an example from my life is with helping people with their diet. As everyone knows, I am a nutritionist and I help people um, heal from disease through change of diet and lifestyle and also I help people lose weight. Now as a natural born people pleaser, <laughs> helping people through change of diet to heal themselves or to lose weight is probably the worst career choice I could have made. <laughs> and this is because people get great enjoyment from eating junk food that is really unhealthy for them. They get a high when they eat these sugar rich foods with fats which make them feel great but of course this is only a feeling they feel great only for a few minutes but they still don't like to hear that it is their food habits that brought them to where they are today which may be sick or overweight unhappy and with many problems and I have to be the party pooper and this is no fun for a person who has uh, people pleasing tendencies and grew up as a people pleaser now you see most of the uh, people with these tendencies these people be pleasing behaviors are it's so deeply rooted within us since this behavior is uh, because we often received conditional love from our parents um, uh, our parents may have not given us feelings of that we were loved unless we behave in only specific ways. Now I'm not going to go into uh, why we have these people pleasing behaviors in this video, but um, we, m most of all, most of people that are people pleasers today started off as parent pleasers and then took it up a notch to become everyone pleasers. Now of course people do not like to leave their comfort zone and if we go back to my example of uh, changing people's diet of course people don't like to leave their comfort zone and change their food habits since they they've been used to it for all their lives since they were children and they got it from their parents who got it from their parents and uh, and so on but I also don't like to leave my comfort zone and talk to people about how they have to change their food habits and why why they need to change their food habits but with time, I learned 
to stop being a people pleaser. Now, people can complain about so many things and I learned to assume inside my, my mind, I changed my thoughts to know that anyone's behavior has nothing to do with me and that everything is fine and I, I just learned to let go. So I would physically meditate and flick my fingers um, about any uh, thoughts that I knew I needed to release, like uh, these feelings that I needed to please other people. I would just flick them away um, uh, when I had these thoughts going through my mind. Now, we also have this uh, imagination that love needs to be earned. Well, people that truly love you will love you and accept you just as you are. Now, you may want to change or improve yourself, but those who love you will still accept you as you are today without any ifs or buts. So instead of trying to make up problems in your mind, if there is a problem, probably the other person will tell you that there is a problem or that something uh, disturbed them. And if they didn't, then it doesn't matter. Just let it go. Stop making up these problems inside your head. And even if you're not making them up, you can just release them. These are uh, the ways to get rid of this destructive behavior so that you can stay true to yourself and let your light shine. Now, changing behaviors is never easy. Until this day, I still find myself sometimes going back to my people-pleasing ways. But a very important key that I learned to making this change is to work on self-esteem, your self-esteem. And the simplest way to do this is by learning to tie, to tie instead of tying your self-worth with um, what others think of you or any results that you got from anything that you did, um, instead of having those make up your self-esteem, rather change it to doing the best you can in any given situation. And if you can truly say to yourself that you love yourself and appreciate yourself when just by doing the best you can in any given situation, no matter what the outcome is, then your self-esteem will slowly grow enough and soon you will be capable of saying no to people and placing when it's needed and placing boundaries to others when you have other things that are more important for you to do at this moment. Nothing is that urgent most often. <laughs> For example, I work in the mornings uh, on my writing and if someone calls me during this time, I will not answer my phone unless it is a call from the school or uh, from my children. No one else will be able to reach me until I finish my writing for the day. And this is the boundary I set for myself. I set for myself because uh, it helps me do the best I can with my writing. Now, if I allow people to interfere, I lose my line of thought and I don't do the best I can. So I don't allow for it anymore. And the same thing goes with my children. I have time that I spend with my children and I don't allow my work or other people to call me during this period. I focus on my children and giving them the time that they need. So I'm doing the best as I can as a writer, as a parent, as whatever I can. So you can learn uh, what you need to do to place boundaries so that you can do the best uh, you can in the areas of life that are important for you. So as always with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life towards a better place so that um, you can be happier and more fulfilled in your life. Now, the question of the day you want to ask yourself today is where in my life am I forsaking my truth for the validation, for getting validation from others? And where am I putting the needs of others before my own? Now, the answers you write for this question will be quite revealing for you, I am sure. Now, as usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer in a notebook so that you have them specially made for these coaching uh, sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how your life has been improving. Now, to end this video off, I want to talk about the affirmation of the day, which is I have high self-esteem and treat myself with kindness. I have a high self-esteem and I treat myself with kindness. 
Now tell this to yourself as many times a day as you remember to do so because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently for a better, healthier, and happier life for yourself. So thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos daily. And also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for any uh, programs to help you lose weight and achieve your health goals. Thank you very much for joining.